Today we're going to be looking at how to upload an attachment to a SharePoint list item using Mobile Entree on a mobile device. I'm projecting my Samsung S4 onto my desktop here, and in the background you'll see the full SharePoint site that we're going to be using. So the first thing we're going to do on the phone is go to the internet and go to the bookmarks. We're going to pull up our SharePoint site that is Company X right here. And we're going to go into the expense reports list. Now we're going to add a new list item here because yesterday we took a taxi to a customer site. So we'll go in, type taxi, go to the category which is travel. It is a billable expense, so hit yes. And we'll say that the customer was Pelican. And we're going to save this item. Go back up to the action tray and add an attachment. Now we can choose a file that is either on the phone already, or we can use the camera to take a new picture. Now we'll take a picture of what we would have as a receipt. Save the picture. And upload it. And as easy as that, we have created a new list item on our phone and added an attachment to that item in SharePoint. Now we'll go back and I'll show you something else that's pretty cool with this list. Now for this list, we have a notification that comes up if there is not an attachment on an item. That's because expense reports, we want receipts attached to them. So you see the receipt attachment missing little notification under burger bar, which we'll say is a client lunch that we had yesterday that we forgot to add the receipt to. So we'll go in there and the same way we did with the other item, we'll go to the action tray and add an attachment. Choose our file, through the camera again, take our picture, save it, and upload it. Now, next video I'll be showing you how easy it was to configure this list and add that little notification in. But for now, we'll just focus on adding attachments. Now, now that we've added these two attachments to these two list items, I'll show you what that does in SharePoint itself. So we'll go over to the same list, Expense Reports, as you see it has the one item right now. We click on it, and now it has the two items, the new one we just added, as well as the older item that was already in the list. And now you can also see the attachments there, that we can click on and view them, and it's that same picture that we took on our phone. Thank you for joining me. I've been Ed from Mobile Andre, and check out my next video where I'll be teaching you how to configure this list and add those notifications. Thanks.